Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we're going to be making this mmm popsicle. Doesn't it look yummy? Well, if it weren't melted and fallen on the ground. And if you want to sell any of my designs, feel free to join my Patreon. Very cheap for right now. And you can see this one and other designs that you can sell without any issues at all. Hopefully. I don't know. Let's keep on going. Let's get started. We're going to start off with a cylinder. There you go. By the way, while I'm doing this, we're going to go with 35. I just want to give a shout out to the student who first designed this. And I thought, you know what? I want to make a tutorial on that. And that student is Isaiah. So good job, Isaiah. Really appreciate your design. So I did 35, 35, and now I'm doing 10. Now we're going to go over to the settings over here, and we're going to change the settings to 128, which essentially is the max. The bevel is going to be 2.5. And we're going to do this in six segments. And what that does is gives us a nice curve so that it looks more like an ice cream. Now, usually when you do something like this, you do not want to mess with this because the it'll print badly when it's sideways. It'll mess up the print. But because we're going to be turning and rotating this, not an issue. Next, we're going to get a box. And the settings are going to be 35 going across. Going back is going to be 58.6. And of course, it's going to be the same height, 10. Let's change the color. And I am going to make this orange because it reminds me of a creamsicle. Okay, let's change the settings. The radius is going to be 2.75 and the steps are going to be 20. So now the curve should be very similar. I'm going to select both of these by dragging over this, clicking the letter L, or you can click on the align button. And I want it to be centered in that direction. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be moving this one to the right with the arrow key. My goal here is to see a very smooth transition right around here. Uh, is that it? Or is that it? I'm not sure how many times I moved it, but what I want is for there not to be an indentation right here. So move it that way. I do see a little bit. Okay, so I like that. Okay, so now it looks like obviously the top of the popsicle. Now let's go ahead and make the indentations that are supposed to be there in the top and the bottom. I'm going to start with a cylinder and we're going to change the cylinder to seven by seven, seven, seven. And the height is going to be 50. All right. So there we go. Now let's bring in a couple of spheres and we're going to change this to I'm holding the shift and dragging it down. That way when I press seven, it'll be seven all the way around. And let's check seven, seven, seven. Okay. I want this to be about, no, I want it to be exactly halfway through the floor. So to do that, I'm going to drag it down and see how it says negative one. I'm going to put negative 3.5. Oh, negative, sorry, negative 3.5. There, now it's halfway through. It should be right there. I'll make sure it's, you know, perfectly aligned later. I'm going to duplicate this, control D, and then drag this past the cylinder. Now I'm going to click the letter W and then put it right on the top. I'm going to click the letter D to drop it down. And then I'm going to click W to bring back the work plane. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to drag this down at first and then put negative three. I did that again, 3.5. And there, it is halfway there. I'm going to select everything here. Click the letter L and center. See how it's all gray? That means these things are centered. Okay, I'm going to bundle this. Control B turns green to remind me that it's a bundle and not a group. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. There it is. Now I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to move it over 13. Yeah, 13 sounds good. 
Now I'm going to group these two, control, well, bundle, control B. Now I'm going to drag this over here. While I have these selected, I'm going to click the W and make this right here my new work plane. I clicked on it. Now I'm going to click the letter D. And now W again and click over here. So now I've selected everything. Did I group these two, by the way? I'm not sure if I did, but it should be group control G. And this needs to be grouped because if you don't, the next step, it's going to mess it all up. Okay, so now I selected everything, click the letter L, and I want it to be centered. Do I want it to be centered here? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to drop these two down two millimeters. I'm going to use the... Con oh, I always get this confused. I'm just going to drop it down like this. One, two. I'm going to duplicate this by clicking on control D and then moving it down beyond the work plane. Now I rotate so I can see underneath. I'm going to click the letter W. There it is. Click the letter D and it moves it up. Click the letter W again and then click away. I'm going to move these up two degrees or two millimeters. One, two. Okay, now I'm going to group control G. It has to be control G, not control B in this situation. There you go. Now for the popsicle stick, I'm going to use a box. And for this one, it's going to be 19 and 7 and 2. I'm going to change the color because it does not look like a popsicle stick. I'm going to use a cylinder and get 7 all the way around. But the top is going to be two and let's change that color as well all right let's align these two click the letter l and they are already aligned all right so let's do the same thing here move it right there and i want to move it two and a half i'm sorry three and a half that way so i'm going to hold the shift button down you see it's moving two i'm just going to put 3.5 there now let's group these, control, actually let's bundle, control B. There. Now I'm going to select both the bar and the stick. Click the letter L. It's aligned that way. Now I'm going to click this one. Usually I click over here, but I want it to be like that. Now I'm going to select this, then click the W, and then the letter D again. Then W and click back over here. There. It is now a complete popsicle. Let's group this. And while this is waiting, don't forget to like and subscribe. And the color should be the same as you started with. Okay, so we have the ice cream. We're going to work on cutting off the bottom part later. But let's work with the puddle of ice cream um, with this right here, this extrude sketch tool. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I want to make a big puddle. And I'm just going to start. I'm just, by the way, I could drag it like this. I don't want to take that much time. In fact, I don't like that one right there. Can I do that? Yeah, I'm just going to. Okay, now I'm going to change it to the letter, I could click the letter A. I have them all right there. What I want is, I'm gonna hit Control A. I have them all selected, all the points, and I want to bend them. Great, now, see how this one is short? Well, this length right here will adjust the bend, okay? So, let me click away and then drag this over here, and again, I want the bend to be different, then I mess with this. Now I can drag it over here, it will adjust. Now this one does not look cool, so I'm going to change that. Now for, for your design, it does not have to follow mine exactly. But your goal in doing this should be like melted ice cream, right? So let's see, maybe over here, maybe out there. I don't know. Really up to you. 
What you really don't want are straight edges. You want them all to be curved. This one looks weird, unnatural. So I'm going to make it longer and it makes the curve a little bit better. Same here with this one. Okay, let's call this good and finish the sketch. Obviously it's too tall, so let's make this a one. Let's change the color to orange. And now we get to play with this. And I'm going to rotate this. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to rotate this one too as well. I'm going to go this way. Rotate it. All right, let's talk about this for a second. Obviously, this is this is pretty much it, right? But here is some printing tips. First of all, let me get rid of the bottom. This is 20, so I'm going to go negative 20 to move it underneath the work plane. And I'm just going to drag it to make sure it covers all of it. it didn't cover that edge, so I'm going to go right there. So I'm going to, I have this selected. I'm going to select this on top and then control G for grouping. It should take away that part. Now here's the deal. This right here is going to give you mostly orange, but right around here when it's printing, if you have a printer that has two colors, at least two colors, it's going to take a long time to print, change colors, print, change colors, you know. So you could theoretically make this a faster print by doing this because it will only change color once. It'll do the orange line and then it'll start doing this light brown one and it'll be a much faster print. However, right now I believe I have it at 22.5. If you were to have it at 45 degrees, which it is right now, the, what you can see here, that's 45. It would be more of this, so it would slow down the print dramatically. 22.5 is a good number because it'll minimize, not completely, but minimize the, the printing time. So that's great. Now, if you ever want to change this part right here because you don't like the way it looks, just click on it again and start messing with, you know, click on it, start messing with the dots, make it to whatever you like. Okay. I think that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a great day.